it is time. I've been waiting to play Modern Dredge for a while. Not particularly because it's well positioned in the metagame right now, because it's either probably not or no one really knows, but because the deck is fun. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to have fun. And I like just doing things degenerately, and if you stop me, I lose. That's just something I, I often enjoy doing. I have played this deck one other time, uh, actually two other times, I think one on Magic Online and one on Magic Live. But for some reason, you're already familiar with the deck, here's kind of what I'm working with if you want to skip to the games, but I'll tell you a little bit about the choices I made. The first thing you might notice is I'm returning to Fetchlands, and that's almost exclusively because of mulligans. I do think Dredge mulligans well, but if you mulligan and you put your Narcomoeba or Creeping Chill on the bottom, it's, it's gone. Like, you're not getting that back. Whereas Fetchlands reshuffles them in the deck, and those are pretty, especially Creeping Chill is really important to the deck. Um, another thing is I am playing the fourth Silver Smote instead of the fourth Otherworldly Gaze. I don't know. I'm. This is just an experiment. But one thing I really wanted to try to do is to beat all possible graveyard hate interactions. And the only one I can't really beat meaningfully is uh, Kaya's Guile. There's really not a great way to beat that card, but not a lot of people are playing it right now, even though I just read into it at an RCQ. But anyway, so to beat Creature and Permanent Based, we've got uh, Portable Hole. Although, Maybe I want another Nature's Clay. I don't know how much Ley Line we're seeing, but Ley Line of the Void, this is really my only way to answer it at the moment. So may, I could probably maybe go down one hole, up one claim. Yeah, actually, let's do that. So uh, there's different kinds of graveyard hate. You've got permanent base, where it's just in play and it stops your graveyard. You've got one-shot things, like remove your graveyard from the battlefield. And you've got... Um, Target, remove a card in your graveyard from the battlefield. So lots of different possible things. Um, unlicensed hearse and maybe scavenging use are the only ones that might see play. No one's really playing um, surgical extraction. If people are playing surgical extraction, I like um, I can't remember what it's called. This artifact that I have it in Legacy Dredge. Let me see what that card's called. Uh, silent gravestone. So if if your graveyard hate of choice is um, surgical extraction, primarily I like this card. But since that's not the case in modern, I am trying to specifically beat um, unlicensed hearse, which dies to portable hole, nature's claim, ancient grudge, all these cards. I'm trying to beat uh, that creature. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, Sanctifier in Vec, which is what Portable Hole's for. I'm trying to be Endurance and maybe Tormod's Crypt. That's what Leyline Sanctity is for. And for Relic of Progenitus and um, Soul Guide Lantern, that's what Stony Science is for. Now, Stony Science is a little more insular because it can also deal with just decks that usually play Urza Saga. Um, so a lot of these cards kind of go together. But um, that's my plan. Um, I'm only playing three under unworld Otherworldly Gaze mostly because it's not the best after a couple turns. But, I mean, I could be wrong with that. I really like Cathartic Pyre, but if people aren't mainboarding, um, what's that black creature? Dothy Voidwalker lot? I, I don't like it as much. So I'm going to see how it goes, and hopefully it's still just as good as it was before. Uh, I don't like this hand, and I mulligan very aggressively, so we are going to mulligan. Hand is much, much better. Part of me wants to say I don't need the second dredger, but it's not really a chance I'm willing to take, so I think I'm going to put back an amalgam. Yeah. See, now I can shuffle my deck and I don't have an amalgam just stuck on the bottom forever. It, it's not like, I mean, it's not that free. You do have to pay some life for your lands, but you gain so much life in this deck anyway. Um, hopefully this is a good matchup. Aether Vial. Uh, humans, I guess? Humans or Death and Taxes? I think Death and Taxes... They, they both can be reasonably good matchups, I think. Um, if they play a one-mana... I mean, the only thing that I can't really beat is Athalia, but I can turn to Blast it, untap, Cathartic. The thing about Cathartic here... If I get to use Blast, if I get to use my mana, I can discard the Amalgam, which is what I prefer. Okay, I can't kill that with the blast, but I can at least start dredging. And I think that's a good enough thing to do. 
because I don't really want to draw any more cards. I don't want to draw. I'm going to have to pay some life, though. Okay, Sword of Fire and Ice isn't particularly good against my deck, but I'm going to have to pay some life here. This is literally just to start dredging, and then this can let me discard the Ammo Jam. Dark Blast U. Thank you very much. I would like to dredge. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can definitely afford to discard. Um, so if I want to be able to cast the Whirly Glaze, I want to cast Blue. If I want to be able to cast Smiting Helix, I need White. I think Smiting Helix is a little more important, so I am going to get some White mana. Yeah. I'm going to discard these two. Seems good. That's not bad. Yeah, I guess Thug's my only... Oh, no, I can do another imp. Alright, pretty good. Pretty good. Just the act of dredging creates abilities. Yes, thank you. I would like to yield. Alright, not bad. And honestly, this isn't a particularly OP start. It's kind of just a normal game. The main thing is that... Um, if you have the right hate cards yet, yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm done with this. So I think I'm going to assume death and taxes. Um, Stony Silence isn't good. Ancient Grudge is probably good. Do they play Rest in Peace and Sanctifier? Probably just Sanctifier, right? So we want those. The, the downside is all the cards are good. Maybe Gaze isn't that great, but Gaze helps me find cyborg cards. Um, probably trim a discovery. I do like uh, conflagrate, but we want to be able to beat the um, sanctifier, and it doesn't kill sanctifier. Probably go down a land actually, although I don't. I don't think I can afford to cut any of the actual lands. So, Narcomiba is the weakest of the cards. Need two more cards. Ugh. I don't know if I can afford to cut out the world of gaze. Dark Blast is probably good against their deck. And it's a core dredger. It's the hard part about playing dredge. Probably just down two discovery and one other card. I would like to cut a land for the gemstone. I probably don't need a basic, right? Yeah. Alright. It's a gamble, but we're going to take it. So normally I like to aggressively mulligan until I have like two lands, dredger, and a payoff card. Uh, but with cyborg cards, it's like that plus cyborg cards, so this hand is no good. Uh, yeah, I guess this hand meets all the criteria. Downside is only has one land, but that's where this card comes in. So I think we're going to keep it, bottom this, and hope to find a fetch land to shuffle it back in the deck. Uh, which is a nice option that exists. That card I uh, don't really care about, I don't think. Yeah, no, I don't care about that card. Plan is to just overpower it. But I guess it could protect his uh, oh, uh, uh, Sanctifier. So if you just like untap Sanctifier, I, I guess I'm just dead, right? Okay, he's not Sanctifiering me. Oof. Okay, so I definitely want to try to find lands. I guess I'll yield to that. If it's not obvious what card I'm playing here. Okay, hit two lands. Uh, which means I can't do anything next turn, but... So we're going to put that in my graveyard. I'm probably just going to go fetch, pass, and then so I can... I mean, it's not like Cavern's a good land here, but it's a land, so... All right. You've got a Thalia. Man, this would be a nice time to have a Dark Blast. Oof. I mean, I, not in this exact context, but Dark Blast can kill a giver with the whole upkeep interaction. So I can't actually fetch on instep here because of uh, I know I'm hitting a land. And I can't cast this, so it's like, ugh. Not a bad start from the opponent. Unfortunately, I did take out the one basic, but I don't know if that's where this game's going to be at. You get to gain a little bit of life, 
so helps slow down the shocking and the small hits. All right, well, we're going to do things. I guess I just get red and white, right? Actually, probably red and black, because if I ever want to double dark blast, right? Okay, white. Old cards, man. So when you think about it, um, mana confluence is basically what this card was trying to be. But now there's an awkward... I'm going to discard an Imp and an Agonis. Oops, so yes, use the ability. I'd like to dredge, please. Oh, did I brick? I bricked. But I hit two uh, boys. Unfortunately, I did not hit any... Uh, that one card. But I'm going to use them, so... Silver Smoke Ghoul didn't hit any of those, so that's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't even play Ox. Looks like we're going to lose... College completes good clock, so that's seven, but I'm at 21. That's one of the things I love about this deck. I think there's still a really good chance I lose this game, though. So if I cast Purple Hole, I basically have to hit Giver. And that's pay one, hits me for a 7-7 seven, seven as doesn't seem winnable. I guess I can otherworldly gaze on his end step and just hope to hit something. If he uh, is smart and Field of Ruins me, though, I can't do anything. I guess I could leave a land on top, maybe, if I find one. I could play Stinkweed Imp. That doesn't do anything. First Strike. Trample Indestructible First Strike. Trample, right? Yeah. Oh, everything sucks. Um, I guess I'm just gonna do it. Yep, yeah, nothing else to do. Probably going to game three, but that, that's alright. Dredge is a very, uh, very sensitive deck. Very glass cannon. He didn't even have any hate cards. He just, I mean, I guess thought he's kind of a hate card, but. Well. I guess I just cast this now? I don't know if that really matters, because none of the, they're all abilities, they're not spells. Okay, so we're going to put that into my graveyard. Uh, I don't know if I can afford to fetch shock. But I may not have to. Oh no, so he's tapped out. Okay, so these are useless, actually, so I'm going to put all of them in the graveyard. So I'll get to... Play Ox, hopefully gain a little bit of life. Probably end up at like 5 or 3 or something. So it doesn't say creatures enter tapped, right? So I can chumpy chump. I don't know, I can't really chump block this though. So this is going to be tough. The portable hole would normally be good, it's just, you know, it's not quite lining up great. Going to be putting the basic back in on game 3, of course. Of course. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm actually, I'm going to be at like 3 or 4. So I'm going to be at 4 after Ox, right? So Dredge. Okay, hit it. Okay, we're going to be doing things. Not going to be able to do a lot of blocking, but can gain some life, so that's nice. And it's not a spell. Not a spell. This card's good, but it doesn't really uh, doesn't do what you want it to do. Alright. This Ancient Grudge is looking bad. So go to seven, hopefully I mean I only have one more chill in the deck. I took out everything else. I guess not that one. I don't like discarding portable hole, but I, I can't just do nothing. If I can survive one more turn, I guess I could win. 28 cards left. Okay, there's a blocker. The, uh... I guess he can get protection. Ugh. They can't... I'll have two different colors, so... This has flying, though. Ugh. So I chump here. 
I, the fact that I only hit one narco amoeba might be a problem. So probably still can't win, but you know it is what it is. Whoops. So all I gotta do is that. Okay, so let's see if maybe the opponent makes a mistake or something. The creature's coming in tapped matters. So I guess this if this blocks Cauldra, it absorbs three. Uh, maybe there's something here, but I think he'll have just enough power to win. So two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, maybe not. I might survive at one. And then he has to do math on the swing back. So he'll have to have maybe a blocker or removal spell or something. Sanctifier is, never showed up. He didn't hit a second white source. He kept tapping out before instead of getting another white source. So he gets protection from red. Yeah, I guess that works, right? So I block here, I block here, take one. So I go to one? My math is right. Block. Protection from red. Okay. Block. It's only six. I don't see any reach. I sh I'm pretty sure I have enough to win. Come on. Be right. Don't have any combat tricks. <gasps> yes. Next round. Didn't win the die roll. This hand has no action, and it has creepy chill, so that's a pretty easy mulligan. Mulligan. Same thing. Mulligan. Oof. So I think this one's a keep. I can put the two narcos back. Hope to find a fetch land. Yeah. This gives me looks at lands. So we'll keep this one. Put these two back. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. On the draw, too, so it's an extra draw to find a land. Although I don't, I'd still rather be on the play. Curse Catcher. That is going to counter my otherworldly gaze. But then that takes an attacker down. Come on, land. Ooh, so good at this game. Years of top deck practice. Let's go. I would like you to counter my otherworldly gaze. Thank you very much. Okay, so that makes it into an island, which I think I'm okay with, right? Problem is, it does um, make it harder to cast a discovery, so I might be off a turn on that. I guess cast this now, right? Yeah, I don't think it matters. Maybe it does, because I took an unnecessary damage. Okay, so yeah, that was wrong. But I, uh, we did it anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't realize that it doesn't matter because I can't cast one discovery this turn anyway. I can just flash it back. Oh, so good. But I still messed up there. I should have just let him do it. All right. Pay two because I'm going to cast Otherworldly Gaze. Should I do it now? Yeah, I'll do it on his turn. So if I do it now, he could, in theory, force a negation me, which is probably fine. If I do it on his turn, maybe he'll spend his mana doing it. So it's like, I don't know. Probably isn't like a, a big margin that matters. Spreading seas. OK, well, that does suck, but we're going to cast this anyway. All right, Narco is, uh, I mean, I guess I get a Narco. Stinkweed, I can start dredging. So I guess I'll take the land. The weird thing is I, I can't cast a Throne Discovery if I start dredging. But I have to take the land, so. Yeah, Spreading Seas deck, surprisingly good. I, I don't have any experience in this matchup. Okay, so I know I'm drawing a red source. Can't block. Um, actually, I quick block, but I'm not gonna. So I know I'm drawing a red source, but that doesn't help me with this thrilling discovery. I could just nat dredge this game, maybe. Yeah, I, mean, I can dredge. Oh, exactly. And that is why we dredge anyway. Oh wait, no, I'm stupid. I wanted to draw the steam vents. But this this is fine. This is fine. 
I, I, I need more experience playing this card. I actually haven't played this card very much. I didn't want to dredge there. Alright, uh, I'm going to attack because I'm not in blocking mode yet. Okay, I'm going to have to remember not to dredge next turn. Okay, I can't block anyway, so... There's an argument for blocking the previous attack, but it's like, whatever. Okay, good. I don't have another land to play yet. So, you can waste the spreading seas. Alright, hits me for three. I cast out the Worldly Gaze. There's not a great sequence of possible draws here. Cathartic Reunion is good, it's just... It's too slow. He's gonna hit me for three, four, five, so I can block. Or it's hit me for six if I block, and he doesn't have a ward. Go to six. Really just need one good dredge turn, but he almost certainly is gonna have a counter spell by then. Gotta play for the highest upside though, right? Put that in the graveyard, put that in the graveyard. Yeah, just dredging three is not gonna do anything, so I'm gonna say okay. Put that on top. I'm gonna draw it. Try not to die next turn. The unfortunate thing, I have to take a blind top deck to try to do anything. Spayloon is actually okay. I can still block. So I go to six, and I either draw the thing or I don't. Alright, here we go. Uh, I can't look. Ah, didn't get there. All right, good game, sir. All right, so I mean, Portable Hull seems fine. He'll probably play Relic of Progenitus. So like, do I even want to put, is it even worth playing um, Stony Silence against a Merfolk deck? Uh, there's actually not supposed to be three of these in here, so that's a change I can make. So it seems like Portable Hull's good in the sense that he's playing creatures. But spreading seas is actually really what won in that game, that, that kind of effect. So I wonder this stops the spreading seas, I guess. Stony silence is only good against one thing. He could have unlicensed hers too. Okay, I'll bring in two stony silence. How about that? I do tend to cut conflagrate a lot. Five cards. Yeah, these are the cards I end up cutting a lot to make room for stuff. It's probably wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway. Dark Blast, although, could be pretty good. But I'm going to try it like this, just see how it goes. I actually cut one too few cards, so we're on 61 this game. Let's see if we can win with 61 cards just for bragging rights. Oh, yeah. It's actually not that good of a hand. But it's really close to being good. If this was a land, this hand would be almost perfect. But, nope. Uh, nope, this hand doesn't do anything. Okay, that's... Ugh, crap. So, I have an easy two cards to put back, but I don't have a, a second land. Nope, it's going to four. Dude, if we win a mall of four. Dang it. Okay, I don't think I can go to three. So I'll keep this one. We'll put back Chill, Ghoul, and Ox. Okay, play Fetch and Pass. Dude, if I can win this game, this will be a miracle. Bro, we're doing it. Do I just play this now? Force Negation would be an interesting card to have, but it also wouldn't be that strange either. I think I'm going to do Blood Crypt, right? Actually, yeah, Blood Crypt, because he can turn my lands into things. Please don't stop this card. Because the only the only art, uh, graveyard hit I can conceive of is the cards I named, and I feel like this, this stops Hearse, stops Relic, Soul Guide Lantern. Such a weird card to bring in against a Merfolk deck, right? But hey, if it works, it's actually not a bad card against me if I draw a, a good payoff card. So I guess I could play a thug just to block. The weird thing is, um, if I choose to block, this actually might not be right now that I think about it. No, we're canceling that. 
So if I block, the thug has to put himself back. So I have to draw the thug, and which means I'm not drawing anything good. Now, even with this, I can draw a payoff card. Okay, so he's going to doink me. I've already doinked myself a bit. Oof. Ooh, it's a good draw. Man, I really underestimated how good a spreading seeds effect is against this deck. Because it operates on so few lands and it just can't cast anything on just blue. I mean, two more lands, I can just cast that. It's not bad. If he's just playing spells and I'm not, he's going to win. That That is how it do. I do like that we're both playing relatively underrepresented decks. Let's chit-chat me in the Discord. Okay. So two, three, four, five. I mean, a cathartic effect is still just the best top deck here. So the good thing about that is one more, and I could just cast Ox, which wouldn't be terrible. So two dredgers. So land or... Oh, that's good. That's really good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dead? I'm just dead. Yep. GG opponent. Merfolk did what the merfolk do. Alright. On to the next one. Rats on the draw again, but it's all right. Uh, hopefully, it'll just be like a good match. Some easy mulligan, m -m -m mulligan, easy keep, and the fetches everything you could want. Please play a one drop creature with one toughness. That'd be that, that'd be great. I'm sitting here thinking through. I definitely don't think I want to run three Stony Silence. Um, it's got diminishing returns. That's the main reason. Um, your turn. I'd almost be okay with him playing anything and just cast this on, even if it doesn't kill it. But Raging Ravine really says, um, like, OG Jund. Thoughts easier would suck. This is a is a target. This is a target. Actually, I don't have to shock myself. I can just discard it, right? Yeah. All right. Ha, sucker. Okay, so we're gonna in step do the fetchy fetch. Probably get. Black, I guess. Uh, magic's hard. Dredge. Silver smoked. So I'm definitely discarding two dredgers. And now I'll get white. Yes. One, two. Alright. Thug. Blast. Stinkweed. Ugh. Not great, but you know, got something going. And I'll just ox next turn. All right, Jun will have a really hard game one, but um, I do think they've got game post board. Although I, I think this is Boomer Jun. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen uh, Saga yet, so we'll see. Uh oh. That's a good magic card. So, what am I losing? I'm losing one ox, two silver smotes. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's not unwinnable. He's already 17. 
worst top deck. Uh, is it weird to like upkeep Dark Blast my own thug? Is that weird? Eh. I want to spend my mana. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I, if I it just if the options there, he might play his own creature. I think he should know I have Dark Blast though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to see. So the downside of this is if my top deck is a payoff card, then yeah, but I think it's worth it. Because, well, I don't have blue mana, so the otherworldly gazes are offline. That's one of the downsides of not playing the 12 Rainbow Lands. But, you yeah, know, whatever. So actually, this should have been blue. Okay, so I'm learning something. I'm learning something. The white mana, once I start dredging, is useless, but the blue mana isn't. All right, all right. I mean, the creepy chill here is like whatever, but. It's things and stuffs, right? So if I attack out, they block Thug. Thug dies and puts himself on top of the library. We don't want that. So we're not attacking with Thug. He could double block here, which I think I'm okay with that. I can I can actually um, Dark Blast my own Thug to put Narcomiba back on top. Nice. Okay, I'm okay with this. He's only got three cards in his hand. Ren and Six. Ugh. So if Ren and Six hits Thug here, that's actually really bad for me. Oh, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. Okay, so upkeep Dark Blast Thug. Come on, good dredgers. Thug returns. Narcomiba. No, he, he's like, nice. If he would have Dark Blast Thug, I would have had to put him Ammo Jam back, but I could have still dredged it, so. Uh, still nothing great. If I hit one Creeping Chill, right? Okay. Okay, so this will attack, I guess, Renin 6. Yeah, one damage to him right here isn't, like, super useful. Push, yeah, that's smart, that's smart. So if he shoots this down, I don't know. I have some thinking to do next turn. I still have a dark boss to dredge, so I don't have to do shenanigans. Croaks, uh, so, ooh, now I can discard um, Stinky Dimp. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things where, like, yes, yeah, the 6-6 six, six is nice, but dredging is nicer. And then I can cast Thug to block and put Narcomibos back on top. Oh, we are in Grind City. Who said dredge can't grind? I don't, I don't think anyone said that. He's like, I don't want to let you discard, but Croaks is like the best thing. Yeah, I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's all just great. Alright, not gonna just throw Animal Jam away, although I could get it back, but it just doesn't make sense. So I'll pass in case he like fires up a raging ravine or something. Only one though. I guess two did get exiled earlier. So he's obviously gonna attack, which means I'll discard maybe Smiting Helix. Oh yeah. I mean at least it's gone. At least it's gone. Ooh, so yeah, Smiting Helix will get it back. It's a lot of good stuff. Don't play another charm. No, don't play another charm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, I don't have any treasures. I have I have I can dredge three. I have dredge four actually, what am I saying? Yeah. Okay, if he has another charm, he just wins the game. Charm Jun, I forgot. Like that I actually like that deck. That deck's really good. So here, if he charms me, it's like really bad. Ooh, yeah, he's EF6'd. 
He could charm me on the dredge, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, charm me here. If he doesn't charm me here, I feel like I win. If he charms me here, I lose. Oh, we did it! Okay, so charm is target, right? Yeah, I think charm's target player. Will he have Dothy of Voidwalker? Even if he doesn't, I think Portable Hole's good. So these cards are all good. These cards are not so good. So cut two of these since they're harder to cast. Dark Blast is mediocre. That grind was nice, but that's not usually how the game's going to go. Don't think I need a basic mountain. One more card. Silver Smote is a little bit of a liability. With Renin 6. But so is an Archimiba. But I don't think I can afford to cut those. I don't really want to cut any more of these. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I don't... I have to play Gemstone Cavern. But then it doesn't make sense to cut a land. So I'm bringing removal in. That means I don't need more Dark Blast. But I can't go that low on Dredgers. Is it just a Narcomiba? Uh, Narcomiba works better with Thug. So I guess it'll be a Smoked. Alright. We're going to try it this way. Okay. Even though there's an Narcomiba in this hand. No Dredger. It's like almost perfect otherwise. So definitely keeping this hand. Hope he doesn't play like Assassin's Trophy or something. Okay, well, I don't think I can beat that card. I made a mistake. My assumption was he wouldn't play that since he had charm. <laughs> That's okay. I just don't think I can beat it. Should I even bother playing? I'm not gonna like just out grind him, right? Yeah, so I guess I just replaced Portable Hole with uh, Nature's Claim. Although I didn't see any, um, I didn't see any. Uh, what's the name of that card? Um, Discard effects. Hmm. Hmm. Probably isn't really in my best interest to keep playing this game, but let's let's look at a few top decks. Yeah, yeah, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna try this again. Okay, so we're gonna yeet these on out of here. And yeet these on back in here. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so like a forehead, I did not take out Gemstone Cavern, but that is okay. This hand is no good, so, well, I can't risk losing to a Holy Line, right? I guess I could draw into a Nature's Claim, just a natural draw, if he goes Ley Line, but then I don't have Sanctity. I feel like there's a lot of upside if he just doesn't have Leyline. This is tough. It would suck to mulligan looking for Leyline and then just having a bad mix of other cards when like at least this hand does something. So if he has Leyline, I can pitch like these two. Or maybe like, yeah, yeah, these two. Try to just draw into it. Alright, I'll keep it. Please no Leyline, no Leyline, no Leyline. Rats. Obviously, he has Leyline. Oh, that's okay. I mean, my Leyline is like whatever. Alright, so tap lane go. Probably not win this game. Displaying that hate cards still beat Dredge even when you plan against it. But, you know, a lot of it's my own decision making. You know, like I, I could have just mulliganed trying to find more cyber cards. Because now, drawing into Leyline is not that great. 
I could cast it later. It's just by the time I can cast it, it's gonna not matter. Come on, top deck it. Okay, I didn't get. It. So I think I have to. You do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep the land because I could just cast this. I could draw a ley line. Oh, gross. Yeah, so it turns out he has Ashiok in his deck. He's chit chatting with me, and um, I don't know if he knows this because not a lot of people are in the scenario. But even if I have Leyline, you can target yourself with the Ashiok, and it says each opponent exiles their graveyard, so that you can still get me. So you mill yourself, and then I exile my graveyard. That's a Thomas Moif. Probably gonna make a chumpy chumper, although he's kind of small right now. Do I make a chump? I guess I cast this now and use my mana, and then maybe I chump, maybe I don't. Oh, I should have just cast Stinkweed Imp. Oh, I'm so mad. That's okay, we'll do that later. Although, I, I mean, I don't want to lose a Stinkweed Imp, but if this is the kind of game we're playing. I mean, he has four cards in his hand, so. I will take one damage. I guess I play it. I'm gonna take three damage to play it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. His goids are small, so it's not a very fast clock. And this turns off stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna save Stinkweed for a more important turn. One more lane I can cast this, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that just to try to draw on the hate cards. Croaks, uh, I'm going to discard the Narco Boy. So now it's four damage. So the, the four damage, like, two twos aren't very big, but with my lands, it's a fast clock. So if I jump here, I don't think it's quite right to block yet. So he's going to get Croaks back next turn. Oh, he's going to have cards in his graveyard. Should each opponent, yeah, of course. Okay, so if I play Stinkweed, maybe he doesn't attack. So I go to nine? No, I go to eight. Oof. Probably not winning this game. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to attack here. I just basically have to top deck a Nature's Claim. He's, he's easily, he just casts another one too. Liliana? No. Charm? Yeah. So Charm can draw him some cards, I guess? Usually you want to do the end step. Okay, so if he does this, he's still one card short, right? Five? That was two cards. Three cards short. Jeez. So this gives him a card if I block, but I can't not block, right? So he'd be one card short. Alright, I'll block. Because, like, if I want to get good top decks and use my mana, like, I just I have to block. Blocking Croxa seems kind of bad. Ragavan, sure. I'll trade with Ragavan. Don't think I can win, though. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Pretty sure I'm just dead. Yeah, I thought this would be a better matchup, but, yeah. I should mulligan, probably. Probably should mulligan looking for more cyber cards. So now he charms to draw cards. Yep. So he draws Fatal Push, Ren and Six. Okay, so Croaks is coming. Oof. Probably just dead, right? Because if I want to use my mana, I take damage. So Ren and Six, that's three, four, five, six. Good game, sir. Alright, come on. We got to get at least one more win in here. Uh, his hand's actually fine. So I'm going to keep it. I don't like having a Narcomoeba in my hand, but the rest of it's, like, there. So I, I can't really, you know. What do I want to play against? I don't know. Um, tap land decks. That, that's what I want to play against. But are they more likely to have Force of Negation? 
the answer is a very solid I don't know. But I do believe that they're too slow. I don't know. Solitude's actually pretty good against my deck. Especially Solitude Ephemerate. This might be the uh, Wilderness Reclamation. Shoot, I have no idea what this is. This could be Domain Zoo, maybe. Gets red white here, it's Domain Zoo, 100%. Okay, probably not Domain Zoo then. Probably like blue white. No? Mm. Okay. I see you. I see you. Can I beat an Archon of Cruelty? The answer is a very solid maybe. So, something that is good against Archon is Leyline of Sanctity. Just thinking, already starting to think of the next the next games, you know? Alright, Silver Smoke, City Brass. I don't think I want any of these cards. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to start dredging, right? Because of Dark Blast. Yeah, whatever. Okay, untap, draw. So I just need to make as much stuff as I can. Maybe that was wrong. Because I could, I could mill all my fetchable lands, but oh well, I already did it. There's no dredgers, so ox is probably not worth it. One, two, ooh, I hit the ox. Oh yeah, three. Alright, so we got some stuff. It's fine. It's still going to be kind of hard to beat this Archon. Alright, so I'll have a decent amount of power. He'll play Archon. He'll gain life. He still might be winning the race. Oh, I see. did that in the wrong order. But I'm not like just dead. Archon dies to a Stinky Dimp, but he's probably got Elementals or something. Maybe this is because of a uh, Prismatic Ending. I'm just going to assume he's Esper until I see otherwise. I don't, I chose not to have Graveyard Hate. Okay, so you get back the Archon, I sacrifice. The problem is, not going to be able to block. So I guess I could just cast. Um, I can just Ox, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to sack Narcombe, but I need as much power as possible. My plan is to Ox next turn and discard. Uh, I guess. So I judge my whole deck. Can I kill him? He's only 17. I need to assume he has like Ephemerae and. Solitude and stuff, right? I just need to assume that that's true. Okay, so oh, I probably should have played my land, but whatever. I absolutely should have played my land. I don't think it's going to make a big difference this game. That was the wrong bridge. That was actually not very good, unfortunately. I'm not going to get anything. But at least I can block, right? So I attack. He blocks, takes 12, goes to 5, attacks, goes to 8. I block and discard. I please don't have a thin rate. Even if he's like prismatic ending something, that's kind of bad. Do you have Graveyard hit here? Or just fetching for a tap lane? I mean, he took the damage. So my math was off. He went to 7. He only took 9. I counted 1 too many. I think I counted the Ox for some reason. So I'm going to sack a, a Prize Amalgam because I'll get, I'll get another one back. I milled Basic Mountain, but he may not know that. I don't know if I really need my mana anymore at this point, to be honest. 
Only 15 cards. I gotta start hitting Creeping Chills. I have a Smiting Helix, so maybe my mana does matter, so let's just hope he didn't see it. Okay, so you attack. Actually... Okay, so I would sack this if I knew he had another... Oh no, I want to block, right? Do I want to block? I can just take the damage. So if he makes another arc on here, it's bad. Kind of no matter what. So I sack two creatures. So I am going to just sack... I think I am just going to sack it. Narc -a boy. Sack Narc maybe. Discard that. So he's a 10. He's definitely dead on board, so he's going to need to do something. So this is probably another Archon, so I will sack Amalgam. Even though I'll get it back, it'll be the next instep, so it won't really do anything. Oh! Oh! Okay, so what kind of graveyard are they going to have? Probably Leyline, right? So same as before? I'm just assuming he's going to have Leyline. These cards are actually quite bad. don't like cutting payoff cards, to be honest. Oh yeah, Got two of these. So one, one card, I kind of just want to do another one. So I'm going to mulligan into the good stuff anyway, right? All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so good news is I have Leyline. Bad news is I don't have anything else. The Leyline stops a lot of his deck, so he'd just be hitting me with five fives. Gives me a lot of time. But if he has Leyline, I'm just going to be top decking until something happens. It's tough. I think it's worth it, though. Leyline may... And I'm up a game. I think it's worth the risk. As long as he doesn't have his own Leyline, I'm good. I'm just going to hope this Leyline carries me all the way. Okay, that's fair. Okay, that... Well, honestly, his beatdowns will beat my beatdowns. Double A line actually really hurts. It's going to be a difficult game. Okay. He could actually make four colors to Prismatic Ending. I don't know if you leave that card in. Please do not have action. Oh, really? He has action? Man. I don't think I'm making any sideboard changes, though, except for the land. So, fetch, do nothing. Okay. I guess I just play creatures and start beating down, right? Could also try to draw into answers. What kind of creatures could he play? I mean, if he just makes an Archon, that's still just going to beat what I'm doing. So I pay two life to make a 1-1? One, one. Is that what I want to be doing? Definitely want to keep the stink we have. Honestly, I, get, I think I'm just going to Cathartic and try to find answers. But I have to draw two of them. Ugh. So I could draw more and more card draw, I guess. All right, I gotta do something. Yeah, I'm not winning by attacking 17 times with a one-one. Feels bad. Although casting a silver smoke, I mean, it can attack, I guess. But. Yep. If I draw a land and play a Stinkweed, that'd be really funny. Oh no! Oh, I can't. I just can't. I can't win. I can't beat it. This is what I get for not playing Graveyard Hate. That's just too many things, though. You know. Okay, okay, you win. Let's try that again. 
So I think I leave the same cards, but I cut the gemstone cavern. All right, let's try it again. So for the most part, I'm just not going to beat that card. So I need to get him low enough to where Creeping Chills can kill him. Not ideal. I think I'm going to keep it, though. And I just need to hope he doesn't have a double ley line. At this point, I don't know if ley line is that good. He's just going to go for Emissary. Maybe I just maybe it's not right to keep this hand. My, if my opponents just draw with oh okay, he molded the four, so he almost certainly found ley line. It, I feel like this is basically a low mulligan though, because of those two, and this is blank. And this is kind of blank. Oh, he doesn't have it. Wow. But if I'm slow enough and he just casts ley lines, like whatever. But he may have the turn three. Emiss uh, emissary or whatever. So if, if he has turn 3 Emissary, I kind of have to try to do something, right? I don't think I can beat Emissary. I have to have a good start now. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I can beat it. There's just not enough damage in my deck that's not from creatures, and I can't deal with an Emissary. Uh... Yeah, I, I just gotta do it. Rip. And beat you to death with a silver smoke ghoul. Deal with it, I suppose. So am I just casting Silver Smoke? Is this this where we're at? I could Dark Boss my own Silver Smoke. That seems bad. Actually, I mean it's not that bad. I mean, it is bad, but. Alright. We need the highest upside. I need to be, if I cast Ox Externity, it doesn't do anything. Maybe. I'm not, I don't think so, though. Rar. Oh, nothing. So he just makes him his next turn. Ah. If he has it, he has it. I, I, I bricked my chance. Even then, if he had it that next turn, I don't think it mattered because... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter because... I put all the creature power in play and he just gets in Missouri and it still can't beat him. So if he has it, he has it. Which he, he clearly has it. Right? I mean, he did mold a four. I need two more turns. Two more turns. Looks like I'm about to get none more turns. Oh. Oh, I'm okay with this. Yes, please. So here I... Uh, dark Blast my Stinky Dimp, I guess. Or no, I might as well hit his creature, right? I don't know if I'll have enough. Maybe I should have hit uh, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I mean I'd have to lose my amalgams. I guess I could play I don't know if mana. I was like I could play I 
you know, it's not really a good way to do it. Maybe I should have hit my own Stinkweed. I mean, it would have been down a dredge card then. I could hit my own Silver Smoke, but those are like my path cards, you know? No reason not to kill this. Seems like he just doesn't have anything. He definitely mulligan low to either find the a fast uh, emissary or a ley line. But I mean, so, like the funny thing is, he still just hit it whenever, and I just can't win. So here goes nothing. Brick, brick, brick. Two ley lines probably unnecessary, right? I don't know if the keep was good, or the matchup for that matter. No. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not ideal, but you know, it does a thing. All right, come on. Just hit fluff so I can cast my ox, please, and thank you. Okay. There's no reason not to do this, right? Yeah. All right, we're doing things. So you either have emissary or you lose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? One, two, three, four. There we go. No. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't click it. No? Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. It's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't working. I probably couldn't tell that I wasn't clicking one of them. Stinkweed. Boom. 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 Uh, it's too many things. I need you to yield to opponent. Oh, he's saying I got it. Do we win? Let's get one more in. Man, on the draw again. But the hand is keepable, so we will do so. And now we don't have to worry about drawing uh, the bag cards. I'm referring to, like, not going to be the keeping chill. I, oh, that's not true. We have to worry about drawing it one time because we're on the draw. Watch my luck. Okay, that could have been worse. Your turn. Probably just looking for land, right? Boseju, huh? Oh, we're playing Yaogmouth with a weird start. It could just be hypothetically like a mono green something or other, but I'm going to assume it's Yaogmouth. All right. Skadoosh. Probably only has no dredge cards, so I guess I'll draw the land. That way I know I'm not drawing a blank. All right. Red. I already have a smote, so I think I want two dredgers. I guess. I don't know. That that's Sometimes that's a hard decision. I really just want to find ox. So, oh, there we go. All right, not amazing, but at least it does something. Your turn. So next turn I ox and then untap and hopefully win. But he could go infinite with the right cards. Gris, what kills a prize amalgam makes a blocker. Probably just makes a blocker, right? Nope, kills it. Kills an amalgam. Killing amalgam's awkward, but you know he also yeah yeah that makes sense. Do I just block here? I think I block here. I don't know. I you know I don't know. 
go to 12, untap, gain a bunch of life, but I, then I go to 10, so maybe I don't gain that much life. No, I need I need to kill him as fast as possible. Okay, so I'm basically going to dredge my whole deck. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I swear to God. I should play my land. Man, I'm so bad at this. Five, five, still 23 cards. Okay. And maybe I want a Dark Blast here. Nah, I'm just going to max it out. Okay. Still not like amazing. I keep, I keep forgetting to play my land before I play Ox. Just not that good. Get to get my mechanisms better. All right, so what graveyard hate do I assume he has? I guess I assume he has uh, endurance. So, and I probably bring in portable hole anyway, just to deal with creatures. Can I be dead here? I don't think so. He can kill a lot of stuff though. Draw some cards. But I don't think I'm dead. If he has like land wolf, maybe. No. Okay, we got it. We got it, y'all. So Endurance loses to Leyline, but does it... Is that really worth it? Probably. Portable Hole, it's is early creatures. So just kind of the generic stuff. Maybe only one Portable Hole. Or only two, I mean. Yeah, Dark Blast seems really good. Alright, we're going to try that. Well, that is quite a hand. And that's a mulligan. That's also a mulligan. Hmm. It's tempting to keep it Dark Blast. I think I'm going to keep it. Bottom some lands. Maybe a bottom amalgam, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep lands. Alright, take that endurance. Watch my play line. Nope. No ley line. Oh yeah. Alright, so if he plays a one drop, how do I Oh uh, that thing is very dead. But how do I want to dead it? If I pay three, that's I have to do it one time, so three times uh, so we pay two. So I think it's mana confluence. Alrighty, please be good enough. It's a little awkward. So that one, actually, I think I'm just gonna take his mana away. I don't care about Young Wolf. Wow, it's annoying that it, I can't use that for a payoff. But it is what it is. Gonna let these young wolves live for a while. Although I will eventually be dead to a Yogmoth. He can draw his deck, and then find Court of Calling or something. I'm gonna get Le Black. He missed his land drop, right? Yeah, he's 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 on the play. Okay, okay. Your turn. So I take two, go to 21. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to worry about his clock. I'm going to try to use this to kill it and stuff. Hmm. What you got here? A oh, cord for one. So what is what is what one drop does he get? Clearly nothing that dies to this, right? 
Oh, no, something. That, oh, no. I, I done messed up. I didn't have a stop. So he gets a two drop. Dang, I messed up. I don't know if that matters, though. So he gets scavenging use here. Oh, if he gets scavenging use, he misses his land drop. I kill it. Okay, never mind. It is a clock. But I think I just let it happen. Yeah, I'm just going to let it happen. Try to hit something. Okay, not great. Not great. I think I'm going to have to cast Stinkweed up, though. A thug would be nice. I can start looping thugs and narcomoebas. All right, your turn. Okay, now I start blocking. That's an easy block. His top decks are probably a little better than mine, but well, I'm not top decking. I guess if I dredge into uh, Ox, it's basically over. Although I've already used two of my creepy gels. He's only got two cards. Wait, that's not... Do I have a dredger? Yeah, I have a stinky. I'm not, I'm not hitting the right sequence. But I did hit Thug, so that's nice. Does he have, like, graveyard hit here? Uh-oh, he has something. Haha! -ha, Leyline of the Sanctity. Target yourself, bruh. Target yourself. That is a big body, though, so... But guess what can block and kill it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess I just cast Stinkweed. Right? And... Let me think. Having Dark Blast and Combat's gonna be good. Man, this feels like this feels like limited. But he could just top deck a bomb basically at any point. You know, okay, that's a good sign for me. It's only at eight though. Hmm. Okay. Easy block here. I would say an easy block here, but I think what I'm gonna do is block like this, and then block like this. Say okay, and then shrink this. Yeah, that's my plan. Seems okay. And I guess dredge another stinky, even though I'd like to get the loop going. You know, I want the loop going. I'm gonna dredge thug. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we did it. We went. We had a winning record. Still need a little more practice today. I don't know if the build's quite exactly precise, so I'm gonna do some updates. Let me know what you think in the in the comments though, because I like seeing a lot of ideas. And please subscribe because it is free.